Good morning, everybody. This is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. I want to show you <clears throat> a file that someone has had. Now, I've actually had two of these <clears throat> in this week. Okay, this is supposed to be an SVG file, and I've noticed that these are coming from Etsy. Okay, so this is supposed to be an SVG, and we all know that really SVGs are supposed to have cut lines. Come up here to preview. No. They're printables. Okay. So what are we going to do? Well, we know if we come up here to object and we click break apart, nothing happens. Okay. And you can come up and you can re-highlight it. You can do another break apart and nothing happens. Because normally JPEGs, we can't break them apart. All right. So I'm sitting here and I'm like, what What can I do? Well, let's come up here, okay, and we're going to try a trace, but it's going to be a little bit different, and you have never seen me do this before. What you need to do is you need to highlight it. Come up here to this trace. Now do you see, okay, but we're going to come up here and we're going to go color layers. We're going to leave it at five and we're going to click update preview, all right, and it captures everything. So we're going to click OK. We're going to take this off of here. And we're going to bring this one down. And we're going to delete it because I want that off of there. Okay. So I'm going to come over here. Object ungroup. And this is going to leave us with layers. Okay. This is all the different colored layers you'll have. So that is how you need to handle these files that look like this. All right, let me take a look. Let's come up here to preview. Now they are cut files. All right, they are no longer printables. They are cut files. All right, and if you want to only have uh, the, let's say you only want this part <clears throat> to be cut, you can leave it like this. Or if you want the reverse image like I show you in the video that has the reverse or negative image, you can come up here, bring your little square, put it over that, highlight everything, okay. You can do back minus front, see what that gives you. Sometimes it takes it all away, and then you just hit undo and you go grab the other one. Yep. So come up here and do front minus back. There. So now that will actually give you what you want. Okay? So that's how you handle files like this. Alright? We're going to go through and do it one more time. Okay, you go in, you, you hit your SVG button, you bring it in, and again, this is not a cut file, and you cannot break it apart. You need to make sure that it is selected, that it is highlighted. Then you come up and you click on Trace, all right? And you want to do Color Layers, okay? Sometimes um, it won't pick up certain parts of the image. You can do a single color. All right. Um, you can do black. And then you just want to bring it up like this to kind of harden all the lines. Make sure there's nothing flaky looking with the lines. Update preview. And you can bring it over like that. And that will give you that single trace. Okay. So there's not all the different color layers. If you don't want to have to deal with all the, the four different colors that I pulled out, you just want this. Then you bring that square over. Set it like that. On top there. Front minus back. And it gives you that awesome design okay so that is how you do it if you have any questions at all on how to do these come over to scan scan and cut canvas 
on Facebook, or scan and cut canvas and scal help on Facebook and find me. All right, you guys have a great day.